Ollie, you saw Jordan Montgomery generate a significant amount of swing and miss today. What did you see from him in terms of overall effectiveness? Off-speed pitches were uh, really good. Curveball, I believe he got seven out of the uh, eight punch outs with his off-speed. Uh, curveball was a good player for him. Change up as well. Um, actually pitched well. Just uh, couldn't string it together on the other side. Yeah. Jordan, it was just also an elevated pitch count there early, but he was able to kind of get it back in control. Yeah, um, he tried to get it back under control. I mean, when you really look at that inning, um, pitch at the bottom of the zone got balled. That was a strike, and he threw an extra 15 pitches at him. You eliminate that, and he uh, pitch count actually looks pretty good. So. Obviously, you guys have a bunch of good players in the offense, but in 162 games, it goes up and down. What are you seeing offensively the last couple, I guess, games and maybe even the series just with the team in general? Yeah. Um, I think we've navigated it well and uh, still found finding ways to win when our offense isn't producing. Yesterday was a good example of that. Uh, we are looking forward to the day off tomorrow. Yeah. Do you, do you sense fatigue in the offense? Is that what you're describing? Uh, no, it's just nice to have a day off when your guys have been going hard. Um, so good to give Goldie a day today and not having him get hot. And Eddie's been going pretty hard as well. So 48 hours for both of those guys and then uh, a full day off tomorrow for the rest of the group. Timing's pretty good. Well, how important is it to get that length back in the lineup where you're, you know, you're not just depending on the middle of the order where you're getting hits out of the, the top and the bottom? Yeah, it's important. That's what good teams do. They, uh, they have guys that produce one through nine and then they not just depend on two or three guys. So uh, we look forward to this uh, trip to the West Coast with uh, our guys being energized and ready to go again. Is Jordan missing his spots occasionally? Is that is that something new with him? Is, is his location maybe struggling a little bit? Or? I, <laughs> when you really look at pitchers, they miss their spots all the time. Yeah. I mean, your best pitchers miss their spots nonstop and still get uh, the result that they they want. So it's easy to say yes to that. The reality is he gets away with some of those pitches on a nightly basis. Um, yep, left that one up to Robinson and then uh, sink her up in the zone uh, for the homer. But he would like those two pitches back for sure, as far as just uh, execution of them. Given that the, I mean, there's always ebbs and flows with offense, but you kind of stick to an approach and expect that the process will eventually produce, right? Like, do you see any variation in approach or erosion of approach that, that concerns you at all at this point? Uh, no. Uh, there's no concern on approach. There's guys that feel good about their swing right now. There's guys that don't and are trying to fight through it. Um, they're still wanting to be out there in order to help the team win. And they're navigating it in real time. So, um, no, if you're sitting here talking about is Newt or Donovan an approach driven or Goldie or not, no. I mean, right now we have several guys that are uh, just grinding through at bats, trying to get back to feeling right. And we've seen it before. It takes uh, one pitch to get uh, to get going again. So, yeah, our concern level is uh, it's pretty minimal right now. I'm going to ask that because a lot, a lot of it's the pop-ups. It's a, you see a lot of pop-ups. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but you see a lot of pop-ups, which was also kind of the tail early in the season as you kind of found, like, okay, dial in some of the soft contact and elevation. Now that turned into, for the bulk of the season, hard hits and slugging. But over the last few days, you've seen a lot of pop-ups. So yeah, a lot of off-speed out in front, just cutting through the baseball. Um, we've seen a, a good bit of off-speed over the last week or so. Um, so that's a contributing factor. But A lot of changes from like Chase, those guys. Mm -hmm. When you give guys days off, are you pretty steadfast in making sure those are days off? Like you, you had a it, chance to run a couple today, guys today, today. specifically yeah. today. Yeah. Yes, um, Goldie was not going to see the field today. Um, but there's days where they have an off day and they still know if the game's on the line after the seventh to be ready. He had a shot maybe to use Tommy one time today, but, but he's he not coming into that game there yeah. to hit for DeYoung. No. Yeah. Is that a temptation? Sometimes when you're doing that to say, okay, yeah, you want to do it's always a temptation because you want to strategically put yourself in the best position to win. Um, so obviously a temptation, but at the same time, it's the risk reward. Like, do you are you valuing the 
day off in order to get what you want for this next stretch of games. And um, other guys have to step up and deliver at the end of the day. That's why they're here. They're on the roster. Yeah. Did you find that the Reds pitching has improved since the last time you saw them? We should have scored some runs today. Yeah. But they do have some uh, young arms that have showed well. Yeah. I preface this by saying I, I, I don't know if they're related, but uh, your team has been so good at scoring late in games with some dramatic flair. Is it possible that the psychological aspect has seeped in where it's like it's the third inning? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll catch it up later in the, we'll catch up later in the game. Not, not to be short, but no. No. Yeah.